Hi, this is Cynthia Clark, your palm reading consultant and relationship expert, coming to you from Wertheim, Germany. And we're in the beautiful uh, Old Town Center. And this is a, a lovely sunny day here, so I'm very happy to be here. And today I want to talk a little bit about uh, another way that we can make our relationships last. And so I've been interviewing people here on this trip who have been married for a long time. And I, I asked a couple who had been together for about 50 years, uh, what makes a good marriage? And uh, the answer that they came up was uh, perseverance, which may seem, you know, kind of a serious subject, but it is true that a relationship does take, uh, you know, you, you got to stick in with it. You know, you basically need to be committed and you have to decide that you're going to be committed. And if you get all riled up over little things and, and just give up, you know, that's not setting yourself up for success. So perseverance actually does show up in the hands and you can see it in the thumb. Okay, so the thumb represents your willpower and the stiffer your thumb is, the more persevering energy that you have. So you actually can take your thumb and you bend it back towards the wrist. How far back does that go? So if you're super flexible, that shows that you don't have a lot of persevering energy and you're likely to give up very easily. The stiffer your thumb is, the more persevering you are and the more, uh, we could say stubborn, but um, in, a, in a way it's good to have some flexibility, but it's also good to not be too flexible. So that's one way to tell how persevering you are. Uh, I would also like to bring more love and light into the world. And today I would like to dedicate this post to Nikolai of Romania and let everybody send him love and light. Um, and that would be greatly appreciated because our intentions can actually change the world. So this is Cynthia Clark. If you're looking for long lasting love, go to loveinyourhands.com. And if you need uh, some love or if you know somebody who needs love, please let me know and I'll uh, include them in a future post.